my name is Shirley and I'm from Holy Lamb Organics and I'd like to show you today how to refresh a woolly down pillow. Today I have my daughter's woolly down pillow that she's slept with for a couple of years now. We refreshed it about a year and a half. But this is a pillow that you can see isn't quite even and once I dump it out you'll see that it's that it's not the <clears throat> homogenous woolly down that you would have when you first receive your pillow. Um, but I'm going to show you how to refresh your pillow today. The filling inside will through time become a little compressed or a little clumpy, but don't worry, this is a natural um, this is a natural habit of wool is to be attracted to each other. And what we're going to do is show you how to make this almost like new. So what you'll need is a large area to work with. This could be your kitchen table or kitchen counter, or you could even throw a sheet on the floor and work from that area. You're going to unzip the pillow like I've done here, and you can see that these are a little clumpy, a little lumpy, and just dump everything out onto your work surface. Now at this time, I like to take this case and throw it into the wash and dryer. And that gives me the opportunity just to wash this without having to wash the whole pillow. So if you'd like to do that, that's your opportunity right now to wash this case. Right now with our area, with our fill here, you can see there's, they're clumpy and it's not quite as fluffy as what you'll see at the end of this. We're gonna take um, your fill and we're gonna start fluffing it. And at this point, I'm gonna bring in Jesse who helped train me and Jess is going to come in and show you his method for fluffing and I'll also show you a few other methods for fluffing. So come on over Jess and we'll have him show right. his method. So this is my method of fluffing these nibs. They're in the huge chunks right now so I just get a big handful and start kind of hitting it against each other while I'm also hitting my fingers against each other. So just getting as much as you can or whatever you feel comfortable with and fluffing it out. As Jesse's doing that, I'll explain. I have what I've poured out on one side. I like to have a method of having it one side that it hasn't been worked with and one side that has worked it with. So he, you can see that he's got an area that he's working with, making it lighter. You can always already see that some of those clumps are becoming less clumpy. They're becoming more separate from each other and lighter and fluffier. Okay, well, that's my method. And I'm gonna give it back to Shirley. Thank you, Jesse. All right, so what he's worked with, I'm going to bring over here. I'm going to work with a little bit more. You're just going to fluff those. I have seen people pulling apart the pieces and the clumps like this. So this is another method. You're going to find that uh, you're going to have a method that works best for you in fluffing up your woolly down. Any way you do it, you want it to become lighter and fluffier. Can you see, I'm not sure if you can see this on the film, but I have this lighter, fluffier, more separated pieces and these thicker, denser, more um, clumpy pieces. One of the things that Jesse does when he makes his pillows, he grabs nice big clumps. He doesn't grab just little clumps and, and fluff them out. He grabs nice big clumps and works with those, fluffing them up. His fingers rub against each other and so do the pieces of wool. So you're just going to fluff this all up. And for convenience of time, we'll probably stop and cut to the very end product. Now that I have my whole pillow fill refluffed, again, I like to work from that, from my left to my right because I'm right-handed. You may be left-handed, you may have a different method, but I have all of my wool on the right. And if you have washed your pillow, you're gonna to come to this next step, or if you've washed your case, you're gonna to come to this next step after everything is washed and dried, it's gonna be a couple hours. If you're not washing your case, you're now ready for this next step. So with your zipper open, you're just gonna grab pieces of wool. You're ready to stuff in. You're going to grab and stuff it all the way to the furthest corner. So I've got one corner that I'm gonna bring it to and kind of fluff it as it goes in there. I'm gonna grab another big handful and take that to the opposite corner. And as I'm going in, I'm just kind of lightly with open fingers, putting into the corner, nothing really too harsh or too firm. Then I'm going to just continue 
grabbing big handfuls, putting the wool in on the sides, filling in all over the pillow. Again, handling this gently, not stuffing too firm, but it, putting it all in as evenly as you can. And already I can see with putting this in that this pillow has become a lot fluffier <laughs> than it was when I came here. So as you're do putting the wool in, try to put it in as evenly across the pillow as possible, but don't worry if you haven't done it perfectly because the next step I'll show you will help with that part as well. So I've mostly got all of the wool puffs in. As you can see, they want to fall out and I have a really lofty pillow. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hands in as like little claws and little rakes and just kind of work the wool in evenly all across this pillow to make it a little bit more even. So that's what my hands are doing inside this pillow. I'm going to face it, get my hands in. I'm going to maybe push those fingers towards the corners and I'm grabbing the wool with those little hand claws and pushing the wool in, evening it out as much as possible, feeling where there are light lighter areas and where there are thicker areas and I'm just about there. Again, this doesn't have to be a long process because this is a pillow that you're wanting to mold and move into the shape that you want it anyway. So I've done that for the most part across there. I've got one more step after I close, but if you want to see in closing this, you want to try to have one hand inside the pillow to keep that wool from getting on the zipper and one side out, or one hand outside closing that zipper. Don't worry, I have a little bit of wool. There we go, I'm gonna put that final little bit of wool in. This is a really clean wool, I don't hardly see any dust. You're gonna see I have a little corner here that's not completely filled in. Again, don't worry because this final process I'm gonna show you, you can do that same kind of claw, a little different motion, evening out the pillow, flatten down a little bit. If you have a corner that's really empty, you can hang it over. Oh, let's stick that in. You can hang it over the side of a table, and you're not going to be able to see this as well, but I'm going to hang that over the side of the table and kind of cut some wool into that corner, and I filled it. So I'm going to stuff this a little bit, even it out. Same thing on the other side. And I have a beautifully refreshed woolly down pillow ready for use again. So just to recap, first you're going to unzip, you're going to dump your pillow, fill out, refluff it, restuff it, make sure you get all to the edges and the sides, form your pillow, close it up, and it's ready to use. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this helps you out to enjoy your woolly down pillow for years to come.